Hello, everybody. So right now we're going to look over a proration question. So the question reads, Bob is selling his home to John. They have set the closing date for June 21st. If Bob has already paid the annual real estate taxes of $2,160, credit who, debit who, and solve. Use the 360-day method and assume the buyer owns the day of closing. All right, so a couple of key things that we're going to pull out of here, right? Um, we're going to look at the very first thing being that Bob already paid. That's going to be one of the big things. The second big thing in here is that it is a 360-day calendar that we're working on. And the buyer, John, owns the day of closing. So the very first thing that we need to know is that every month has 30 days in it. So there are 30 days in every month because 30 times 12 months equals 360 days. And we're working on a 360 day calendar. So let's do this first. Let's calculate the number of days that the seller actually owns this property. So we have January, February, March, April, May. So there's five months times 30 equals 150 days. Then they own it for another 20 days in June. So we're gonna add on top of this, which is gonna give us 170 days that Bob owns the home. Perfect. So now we figured out that. The second thing that we're going to need to do is we are going to figure out how much each day is worth on this 2,160. So what I'm going to figure out is I'm going to take $2,160 and I'm going to divide that by a 360 day calendar which tells me that each day in taxes is worth $6. Perfect. So each day on this is worth $6. So the third thing that we need to do is that we go through here and calculate how much that the buyer will owe the seller. So how much will John owe Bob because Bob paid for this entire thing up front. So, right, because he paid in advance. So one of the things that we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and we're gonna take 360 and subtract that from 170 days. So 360 day calendar minus 170 days, which is how much that Bob owned the property. And that is 190 days is how many days the John will own this property. So the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that 190 days and we're going to multiply that by the $6 per day. So we go six times 190 is $1,140. So when we see the $1,140, that is going to be a credit to Bob, debit to John, 1140. 1140. Guys, this is what this looks like right here. You're going to see something very similar to this, this math problem. And so what we did is our keywords were that it was already paid in advance. So we know that we needed to credit Bob back for the time that he is no longer going to be in the home. We know that we were working on a 360 day calendar. We knew that the buyer owned the day of closing. Um, and so that's how we figured out that piece. Hopefully that is helpful on your proration journey.